Thank you for tuning in to Lost Tribe DNA. Please subscribe to get our new content. We are currently working our way backwards from haplogroup T to haplogroup A. Started with our small series on haplogroup T, we are hoping to have the data from the Alula and Taima region in Arabia. A paper about this region has been rumored for a while now, and the DNA community is anticipating. Also this summer, FTDNA revealed the first reported haplogroup T sample from ancient Egypt. Egyptian mummy 2516 was a man who lived between 798-591 BCE during the Third Intermediate Age and was found in the region now known as Egypt. He was associated with the ancient Egypt cultural group. Reference, Egypt 2516 from Verst et al. The paper cited was published online 2024 Jan 25. Genetic Predisposition of Atherosclerotic Cardiovascular Disease in Ancient Human Remains. And not where is the Egypt 2516. Mummy remains is associated or elaborate with haplogroup T in any way, so we hope to get more information regarding Egypt 2516. Roberta Estes wrote her paper 10 years ago, so around 2014. She came to her conclusions only after conducting all of her research. Her conclusion has an alignment with the academic census. The most likely origin of haplogroup T is in the Fertile Crescent Mesopotamia and the Levant. This video is based on the article titled Hugh Bowling, 1591-1651, DNA rare as hen's teeth, 52 ancestors remixing Roberta Estes. Lost Tribe DNA 2024, the migration patterns of haplogroup T1 present a fascinating journey through time and geography. At Family Tree DNA, community projects for specific haplogroups and surnames allow individuals to explore and understand these patterns more deeply. Those who share the same haplogroup often join a dedicated project to facilitate the study of their group's distribution and historical migration. Project administrators, who typically have a vested interest in their haplogroup and often carry it themselves, are usually on the cutting edge of research. They frequently possess more detailed knowledge than anyone else, including scientists, who formalize subgroup classifications. It's important to note that while scientific advances in genetic genealogy can be steady, the field sometimes evolves faster than academic consensus, and publication can keep pace. In chronological order, the bowlings are most closely related to other bowling males, followed by English non-bowling men they match, then Iberian men they match, and finally the Alpha 1Y haplogroup T group. The location in Turkey shown on the map above, where the bowlings match, is believed to be the birthplace of haplogroup T. Haplogroup T, the parent of subgroup T1, is very rare in Europe, with less than 1% of European men carrying it. It is more common in the Middle East, parts of South Asia, and parts of Northern and Eastern Africa. The distribution of haplogroup T is uneven, with some areas lacking it entirely and others having higher concentrations. Haplogroup T is mostly found in Northern and Eastern Africa, the Middle East, South Asia, and sporadically in Southern Europe. It is believed to have originated in the Taurus Mountains in eastern Turkey around 25,000 to 30,000 years ago, with subgroup T1 emerging in the Middle East between 10,000 and 25,000 years ago. There are several scenarios for how haplogroup T ancestors reached Europe, including migration via the Phoenicians. The spread of agriculture from the Levant to Europe around 7,000 years ago is one possible route. The coastal Mediterranean route, or a path through Turkey into Europe, could also explain the presence of haplogroup T in the Balkans, Italy, the Iberian Peninsula, and other regions. Phoenician traders, who were dominant around 2,000-3,000 years ago, likely played a role in spreading haplogroup T through their trade networks and settlements. The roots of Phoenician and Greek traders in 500 BC align closely with the distribution of haplogroup T frequencies in the Mediterranean region today, suggesting a correlation between ancient trade routes and genetic patterns. Their existence in Europe wasn't always stable. 
With the rise of the Crusades, they faced expulsion from England in 1290, France in 1392, and various regions of Germany in the 1400s. This displacement pushed them eastward into Poland, Lithuania, and Russia. By the 1400s, the Ashkenazi Jewish communities in Poland had become the largest Jewish communities of the diaspora. This region eventually came under Russian domination. Austria and Prussia, Germany, remained central to Ashkenazi Jewry until the tragic events of the Holocaust. A painting by Morrissey Gottlieb in 1878 depicted Ashkenazi Jews praying on Yom Kippur in his hometown of Drohobych. During the Holocaust, out of the 8.8 .8 million Jews in Europe at the start of World War II, roughly 6 million, over two-thirds, were systematically murdered due to their Jewish faith or heritage. More than 91% of Polish Jews perished, with 82% in Ukraine and between 50-90% in other European nations such as Germany, France, Hungary, and the Baltic states. Sephardic communities in countries like Greece, the Netherlands, and the former Yugoslavia also experienced significant losses. This period saw many Jews emigrate to countries like the United States, Canada, Israel, Australia, and Argentina, where they and their descendants are now settled. Refugee Jews were depicted arriving in London, impoverished, but alive. In Scenario 3, Phoenician, Jewish, or possibly Moors, the historical records do not offer a definitive answer. The Bowling family's documented presence in Chorley, Lancashire, England from 1520 suggests a Catholic affiliation prevailing in England during that time. Considering the intricate history, it appears unlikely that the Bowlings were Jewish in 1492, transitioning shortly after to Catholicism in Lancashire. While theories of Phoenician or Moorish heritage arise, the most plausible scenario aligns with the bowling ancestors possibly being slaves or conscripted soldiers of the Roman legion that invaded England in AD 43. This prolonged Roman presence until the Saxon invasion around 500 AD allowed for assimilation with the local population over generations. Their presence in Europe faced instability during the Crusades, leading to their expulsion from England in 1290, France in 1392, and various German regions. It is estimated that between 165,000 and 800,000 people were evicted, with about 28,000 displaced individuals migrating to what are now France, Holland, Germany, and England. These displaced Jews became known as Sephardic Jews and were forced to convert to Catholicism before the expulsion, thus becoming known as conversos. Their conversions were often insincere, serving merely as a means to survive persecution. This insincerity made them susceptible to joining the rebellion against Catholicism that accompanied the Protestant Reformation some years later. Following the Roman takeover of Judea, Jews were exiled from Jerusalem in 70 AD. They continued to live in Palestine for several hundred years, but groups began to seek opportunities elsewhere, spreading to various locations in Mesopotamia and the Mediterranean region. The largest concentrations were in the Levant, Egypt, Asia Minor, Greece and Italy, including Rome itself. Smaller communities were recorded in Gaul, France, Spain, and North Africa. When Christianity became the official religion of Rome and Constantinople, present-day Istanbul, in 380, the marginalization of Jews increased. Cert the Germanic invasions of the Western Roman Empire in the 5th century, by tribes such as the Visigoths, Franks, Lombards, and Vandals, caused massive economic and social instability within Western Europe, contributing to its decline. In the late Roman Empire, Jews are known to have lived in Cologne and Trier, as well as in what is now France. However, it is unclear whether there is any continuity between these Roman communities and the distinct Ashkenazi Jewish culture that began to emerge roughly 500 years later. After 800 AD, Charlemagne's unification of former Frankish lands with northern Italy and Rome brought a brief period of stability and unity in Western Europe, which created new opportunities for Jewish merchants to settle north of the Alps. 
Many Jewish merchants embraced occupations in finance and commerce. Hapla Group T, while present at low levels across Europe, tends to be more concentrated in areas historically associated with Jewish settlements. The breakdown of haplogroups among Ashkenazi Jews suggests additional families became part of the Jewish diaspora, indicating a shared genetic heritage. Not all individuals with haplogroup T in Europe were necessarily Jewish, but a significant number were. As haplogroup T predates the Jewish faith, it's likely that many people are distantly related to those of Jewish descent without being Jewish themselves. The Raparli family crest, depicted above, originates from the Raparli family Bible in Mutterstadt. Translated information reveals their Spanish lineage tracing back to their migration to the Netherlands in the 16th century. Fleeing from Spain due to the decree of Alhambra in 1492, which expelled Jews, estimates suggest that a considerable number resettled in France, Holland, Germany, and England. These displaced individuals, known as Sephardic Jews, were forced to convert to Catholicism before being eventually expelled, a factor that fueled resistance against Catholicism during the Protestant Reformation. The Raparli family in Valenciennes, known for their silk weaving trade, mirrors the historical presence of Jewish silk weavers in Spain and other regions prior to their expulsion in 1492. Both Ashkenazi and Sephardic Jews have rich histories in Europe, with Ashkenazi Jews documented as early as the 4th century in major cities and trade centers. While successful in various trades, their financial practices conflicted with Christian restrictions on usury, leading to societal tensions. Regardless of whether the Bolings paternally are Moors, Phoenicians, Roman soldiers, Roman slaves, or Jews, we share a common heritage between all of these groups, back in the Middle East, before these groups were separately defined as such. Our origins are firmly tied there for tens of thousands of years, in the land of sand and forbidding mountains, the Holy Land, and the religious well from which Christianity, the Muslim faith, and the Jewish religion all sprang, the Taurus Mountains, and the Middle East. This is the land of our forefathers, before Lancashire. This is our homeland disclosure. I receive a small contribution when you click on some of the links to vendors in my articles. This does not increase the price you pay, but help me to keep the lights on and this informational blog free for everyone. Please click on the links in the articles or to the vendors below if you are purchasing products or DNA testing. Thank you so much. DNA purchases and free transfers. Link to the article is in the description. Please support. Thank you.